In October, the Department of Energy will sponsor an international event to find energy-efficient homes. One of those in the contest is called Lumen House, built by Virginia Tech University. Clean Skies' Lee Patrick Sullivan got a sneak peek of this really neat home this afternoon, and he is here now. Hi, Lee. Hi, Susan. Uh, the design team at Virgi Virginia Tech has a philosophy when it comes to energy efficiency. If you want to aim big, you have to think small. Students and professors from Virginia Tech University are busy putting together the Lumen House. The energy efficient home is being constructed on the front lawn of the National Building Museum. It's part of the museum's green community exhibit. Lumen House is um, a house uh, that's been, um, it, it's based on the concept of, we call it, responsive architecture. It's a house that responds to the environment. The computerized house opens and closes sections of the home based on the weather. Does your home wake with the sun? Shown here in this animation provided by Virginia Tech, on hot days the shades will help cool the home. In the winter, the sunlight is let in to help heat it. In today's 88 degree Washington DC sunlight, the home, even with all its doors open and no air conditioning, was 11 degrees cooler. And when the geothermal heating and cooling system is operating, it's powered by this solar array. But they're not your typical panels. They're bifacial photovoltaic solar panels. These are mounted between two pieces of glass. So any light that may make it past those photovoltaics can bounce off of the, the reflective membrane we have on the roof and uh, generate more, more electricity. So it's about 15 to 30 percent more efficient than a typical solar panel. The Lumen House will be entered into the Solar Decathlon in October. It's an international event sponsored by the Department of Energy that looks for homes that can be zero energy. So these houses are not only uh, self-sufficient, they actually provide energy to the grid. Right now we have a photovoltaic array that, that produces twice the energy that the house uses. The folks at Virginia Tech say the house is able to produce extra energy because it uses so little to begin with. The home is equipped with its own weather station. It knows when the sun rises and falls and adjusts accordingly. So you find it a little Orwellian that a house is computerized and does everything automatically and you want to change it to manual. Well, there's an app for that. No, seriously, there really is. The computer science department at Virginia Tech developed an iPhone application that allows a homeowner to do everything from close curtains to wash clothes, to change the channel on the TV, all remotely, anywhere the iPhone gets a signal. But all the gadgets aside, the key to Lumen House, the designers say, is smart use of space. For the solar decathlon, no homes can have a footprint larger than 800 square feet. That constraint on my students is a very good one. Um, we need to get designers thinking about how they can design houses smaller but more comfortable, right? Um, it's a, I mean, why does anyone need a 5,000 square foot house? Yeah. I mean, the first step to saving energy is don't use so much energy. And the students that designed and built the Lumen House have taken that philosophy to heart. I'm already convinced of how much space I actually need to live in. Uh, I actually, I, I currently live in 150 square feet of space. You know, I've, I've convinced myself that this is all I need. You know, it's a density of living. Uh, and, and, and it's, it's more about quality of space than the quantity of it. And, and I, th I think that's the biggest, uh, a big selling point, a big thing to, to show the public is, is it's, it's the materials and the space you surround yourself with, not the amount, but the quality of it. And, uh, it's, and, and if it's done right, and if it's done efficiently, you can actually uh, use and require a lot less than you think you do. So. Now, Susan, this house will be completed tomorrow, and it will be there all month at the National Building Museum, and the price of admission, it's free. Oh, wow. Very, very cool house. Um, Lee, how much does it cost? The big question. Well, if they can get this uh, made on an assembly line, as you saw, the house is modular, and they have a company in New Jersey, a modular or home company that's putting it together for them. If they can get this on an assembly line, they say it can be built for $350,000. Now, depending on what part of the country you live in, that's either a high price or a right. low price. Right, exactly. All right, Lee Patrick Sullivan, very cool. Thank you.